Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnative, speaking to James Brolin about Sweet Tooth now streaming live on Netflix. Thank you for your time. Hi, PD. How are you doing, man? I am doing great. Your narr- right. your narration for this project, the show, is amazing. Congrats on that. It's it's fantastic. What was it like um, working on a project like this in a narration capacity, James? Uh, it was a very new thing. I have the closest I've ever come was audition tapes, which uh, nobody would ever hire me. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> suddenly, uh, this thing is a big success, and suddenly they're looking at me like. How did we miss him? You know, it's very strange. Uh, but, you know, that's what's delightful about this business is you, it's like soap in the shower. You never have a good grip on it and you never know what's going to happen. Here we are, number one in the world in Netflix for seven days straight now. Yeah. Amazing. You know, it, it, it is amazing. And there's so many there's so many things happening in Sweet Tooth for you. I'm just curious, you know, what is there something that stands out in terms of what you like the most about Sweet Tooth, James? Like one element, one aspect about the show I, that you think it's tried? I would probably uh, say my relation or uh, the simile of my relationship with my child or children and the, the father protecting and teaching the young boy. Hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. The, it, it's it, the, the, the friendship and the relationship between Gus and, and Jep is just fantastic. Yeah, and you're yeah. telling that story, which is awesome. And this is, you know, really about the plight of uh, a real love or the love that we seek wherever we find it, uh, that uh, we're, we're actually no good without each other. No point in fighting each other ever. Absolutely. So you said, you know, narrating was a bit new to you. Does the mindset change obviously a little bit? You know, you're used to being on screen, on camera, and then you have this opportunity where, you know, the vo- the focus is on your voice rather than on screen. Does the mindset change or do you go in as a storyteller and you go in and you, you do your thing? Uh, because I was only able to see the clips of film that I was doing. I was a little bit in the dark, but I've been in the business enough to where, you know, and I'm a writer, director. So, uh, you know, in your head, you write your own version. And then the director who's on your headphones when you're recording corrects you and said this or that. And I say, yeah, but wouldn't this be a good idea? And together, you know, we came up with what we came up with. The pilot, I find uh i'm weaker than later on by the third show i really begin to understand what we're doing and get with it and uh, i really wasn't an actor who had his voice prepared until the mid 70s when i played Clark gable and tried to see if i could tweak my voice to sound like him you know and then later reagan you know yeah Oh, absolutely. The obvious answer to this question is you hope they enjoy it. You hope they watch it with their family. I mean, number one around the world already, which is amazing. Diving deep into it a little bit more, what are you hoping they get out of it when they watch Sweet Tooth, the audience? Uh, The fact that we all run into one problem after another getting in the way of our major goal, which is loving being loved and loving somebody and warmth and hammocks and barbecues and good neighbors that you can borrow from. And then at the end, there is a place, no matter who you're around, whether it's family or not, that that's there. Mm -hmm. And uh, war is uh, an obsolete idea. Yeah. And anger in, even though it exists is an obsolete idea, useless emotion. (laughs) <laughs> absolutely and you know this is you know jeff lemire's graphic novels coming to life and is it just not it's it's just breathtaking just look like watching it it is is it's, isn't it incredible well they did uh put a lot into it and I, I kept wondering because uh uh peter uh who who's who's that that shot all their films in new zealand mm-hmm. um you know uh we all knew that new zealand could be beautiful but for a foreigner to come over there and 
and do a uh, eight hour thing. It, it's absolutely like, it's like an eight hour movie. That's what we thought. And uh, we said we'd watch the first two hours, you know, at night and then, and then we go, well, let's watch one more. Well, what's what? And we got to bed at five in the morning, you know? <laughs> oh, absolutely. It does hook you. <laughs> James, thank you so much for your time and everyone right. can watch Sweet Tooth now on Netflix streaming. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.